Hi and welcome back to the channel. If you watched the last video, you'll recall me review this cheap and cheerless fake SLR camera available from the likes of Wish and eBay. You'll have also seen how really poor the images are, so we're going to take it apart and see what's going on inside. So we have time just to take one last photograph before we take it apart. This could be goodbye indeed. So whilst I'd have liked to have used something a bit more heavy duty to take this thing apart, a small screwdriver is all that's needed. There are quite a few screws to take out of the body, but once they're all out, the rear panel comes off. The next bit was a bit of a fight to get the PCB board out, but once it's out you can clearly see inside that there isn't very much to this camera at all. So once that PCB board's out of the way, if you follow the ribbon cable down to the front of the camera, that's where the actual camera unit's held right in the nose. And as typical of this camera, it's only been held in with one screw. So once the lens is free of the body, you can see that it is actually just a little webcam. Fantastic. No wonder it's only 1.3, well, not even 1.3 megapixels, it was 1.18, wasn't it? It explains why the um, photos of, are of such poor quality. So curiosity got the better of me and I wanted to know what was on the other side of the circuit board. As it was only two screws, I thought I'd give it a go and have a look anyway. Turns out, it's just the uh, SD card slot. So that's your lot, it's all in bits now and um, yeah, not a lot to it was there. And uh, certainly you can see why it's such a rubbish camera. <laughs> anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, uh, give it a thumbs up, um, hit the bell for notifications, and, and I'll probably consider doing something like this again in the future. 